Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar Sarma here and today we are going to look at a question on quadratic equation. So kindly pause the video, give it a try and then resume the video over here. So in today's question, the question goes like this. If A and B are integers and the term 2x square minus AX plus 2 is more than 0, at the same time one more uh, inequality is given to you x square minus bx plus 8 more than equal to 0 for all real numbers x. Then the objective is to find out the largest possible value of the term 2a minus 6b. Please note a and b are given to you as integers. Let's see how to tackle this particular question. Suppose if I have taken y is equals to 2x square minus ax plus 2. So if I want the term, let's say 2x square minus ax plus 2 to be positive or more than 0, I basically want the value of y to be positive. Now let's understand how the graph of this particular equation y equal to 2x square minus ax plus 2 might look like before I can make any conclusions. So understand here, for let's say when the coefficient of x square in a quadratic happens to be positive, the graph is going to be an upward opening parabola. And the graph can be any one of the possible three. Just the scenario I am taking over here. So one possible graph can be like this when we have two distinct roots. My graph can be like this when you have equal roots. And the third case could be possibly if you have this particular situation. So in case number one, we have two distinct root and we can say this case can happen when delta or discriminant is positive. In the second case, one can say the delta is actually equals to 0. In the third case, one can say delta has to be less than 0. Now look at the first case over here. In this particular scenario, can we say here the value of y can also be negative between the two roots. So in this particular case, this case can be ruled out. Similarly, if you look at the second scenario here, here the value of y is either positive or equals to 0 it becomes equals to 0 at this particular point the root. This can also be ruled out since I want y to be more positive number. I want y to be more than 0. If I look at this particular situation here, the graph never cuts the x axis. It is always above the x axis. It simply means that y has to be positive. So in other words, if I want the term 2x square minus ax plus 2 to be positive, your condition has to be the discriminant has to be less than 0. Then if I look at the second inequality, if I want x square minus bx plus 8 to be more than equals to 0, which will mean that I want the value of y to be either 0 or positive, one can say my delta has to be less than 0 or equals to 0 possibly. It can't be the first case, it can be either the second case or the third case over here. So let me remove the graph part now. So I wanted the term 2x square minus ax plus 2 to be more than 0 and we have under, understood the condition that my delta or discriminant must be negative here. My graph has to be always above the x-axis. So here one can say it has to be b square minus 4ac less than 0. Now please note abc here represent nothing but the coefficient of x square, coefficient of x and the constant term. This is going to become minus of a whole square minus 4 into a into c should be less than 0. So one will get a square to be less than 16. So here if you look at the largest possible value of a can be a plus 3 if I look at the integer side or the lowest possible value of a has to be a minus 3. If I want an inequality over here one can say if I say a square less than 16 a must be less than 4 and a must be more than minus 4 which simply means that a is between minus 4 to plus 4. Similarly, if you look at the other part, I wanted the term x square minus bx plus 8 to be more than equals to 0. This time my graph basically can touch the x-axis or it has to be above the x-axis. And for that to be true, as I told you, the condition should be now delta must be less than equals to 0. Now delta again, as I told you, is b square minus 4ac will become b square minus 4 into 1 into 8 less than equals to 0. So b square less than 32. And here if you can say the value of b, if I want the integer numbers first, I could have told from minus 5 to plus 5. 
Now, let's act. Let's uh, solve the question. The question says find the largest value of the term 2a minus 6b. If I want the term 2a minus 6b to be maximum, the term 2a should be maximum. And the term 6b must be as low as possible, that is minimum. So in the condition from minus 4 to plus 4, not including the extreme point, what is my largest possible value of A? Since I want the term 2A to be maximum, I should take A maximum to be equals to 3. And if you look at the term 6B to be minimum, so I should take the lowest possible value of B. And here if I ask you B minimum will as an integer will come out to be as a minus 5. So what about my value of 2a minus 6b? 2 into a will become nothing but 2 into 3, 6 minus 6b is minus 5 here. So 6 minus of minus 30 will become a 6 plus 30 giving us the number 36. So my answer for this particular question has to be 36. A nice question and a very conceptual question over here. Now you can try out the replica question and you can put your answer in the comment section.